and welcome to Master Martial Arts. My name is Mr. Pizzillo, and I'm going to be your instructor over the next three lessons. My responsibility is to make sure we prepare you properly for our martial arts classes and to set you up to achieve your first goal in martial arts, which is your white belt. Over the next three lessons, if you complete all the challenges that we have to give to you, we will mail you your white belt so you can earn it. And if you work really hard over the next three years, that's right, you'll become a black belt just like this. Now this belt requires a lot of discipline and a lot of hard work that I know you're capable for. So let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is here at Master we have three principles. Number one, yes I can. Can you say that with me? Say, yes I can. Say it a little louder, say, yes I can. One more time, nice and loud. Yes I can, great. We use that skill, yes I can, always. Number two is all about trying our best always. Life will get hard, there's no doubt about it. But we try our best and have the yes I can attitude, which brings us through our third stage, is our martial arts training, which is master martial arts. So when we have the yes I can attitude and try our best always, we conquer this idea of master martial arts. So let's get started. The first stance we're gonna to learn today is called the set stance. Put your arms out like me. I want you to bring your feet together, slap your sides, and say, sir. Ready, set. Excellent job. Let's do that again. Ready, set. Now, anytime an instructor asks you a question, it's your job to answer right away by saying, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am. Let's practice again. Ready, set. I like how you said, sir. Now, no moving in this stance. We're going to keep our hands at our side and stand nice and confident. And show me that yes I can attitude. And always trying our best. Excellent job. Now, remember, when mom and dad ask you to do something at home, we say yes mom and yes dad. Let's practice that stance again. Ready, set. Awesome. Now, greeting is the first step to social development. The way we greet each other in martial arts is with a bow. Let's practice, bow. Very good, do it again, bow. And every time we bow, we use those three magic words again. We say, yes, I can. Because if we put ourselves in the right mind frame now, we can do anything we want in our life. Let's practice. Back. Yes, I can. Great job. Let's put those two moves together. When I yell set, you say, sir. Set. No moving. When I say bow, you say, yes, I can. Back. Yes, I can. Give me a virtual high five. Great job. You're doing awesome. I am sure your family is very proud of you. Okay, let's review. Set, and bow. Yes, I can. Now the bow is also a reminder that we're friendly towards one another. I'm not here to hurt you, and you're not here to hurt me. And we'll only use the skills we learn here at Master, or if a bully or stranger ever tries to hurt us. So let's practice our first block in martial arts. I want you to take one hand and bring it over your head, just like this, and make your fist nice and tight, and put your palm up to the sky. Good, now let's switch. Good, and again, switch. Good, now let's say our special magic word. Say, yes, I can. Good, a little stronger now. Yes, I can. Remember, always trying your best. Yes, I can. A little louder now. Yes, I can. Faster now. Yes, I can. Again, yes, I can. One more time. Yes, I can. And stand tall, set. That's right, you said sir, and back. Yes, I can. Great job, clap for yourselves. Wow, you are doing awesome. I'm sure your family's smiling with joy on how great you're doing right now. Let's learn more. Now what I want you to do is take your arm and lock it out just like this. We're gonna take one arm and bring it back and extend the other arm forward. Very good, let's try that again. Good, now this is called a reverse punch in martial arts. So we need to have balance. While one arm is coming back, the other arm is moving forward. It's like eating pizza. If we like to eat pizza, we kind of make sure we eat our fruits and vegetables too. Let's practice. Say, yes, I can. Good, a little louder now. Yes, I can. And make sure we're rotating our wrists back. Ready, go. Yes, I can. Now say what we say, try my best. Good, say it again. Say, yes, I can try my best. Faster. Yes, I can try my best. Two more times. Yes, I can try my best. 
one more. Try to get faster than me. Ready? Go! Yes, I can try my best, sir! Great job! Stand tall. Say yes, sir. Now, people with confidence stand tall and they look strong. Let me see. Yeah, you look strong right now. You're doing awesome. I see how proud your family is of you. Great job. All right, let's review. Yes, sir. Back. Yes, I can. Now what we're going to learn is how to throw a martial arts kick. I want you to put your hands up just like this. And with one leg, I want you to bring your knee up like this and kick your leg out and bring your knee back and put it down. Excellent. Let's try it again. Bring your knee up, kick nice and low, bring your knee back and down. Good. Let's try it a little faster. Knee up, kick, back, and down. Remember, we always have the yes, I can attitude. We always try our best. And that equals mastery martial arts. Ready? And kick. Good job. And again, knee up, kick. That was great. One more time. Knee up and kick. All right, let's go a little faster and let's say yes, I can. Ready? Yes, I can. Again, yes, I can. Again, yes, I can. Now, anything we do in martial arts, we do it on both sides of our body. So we have balance. Balance means if you like to go outside and play with your friends, you got to make sure you do all of your chores for your family. So let's practice with our other leg. Ready? Try my best. Try my best. Try my best. Now let's do both legs. Ready? Yes, I can. Try my best. Yes, I can. Try my best. Two more stronger than me. Yes, I can. Try my best. Yes, I can. Try my best. And stand tall. Yes, sir. Back. Yes, I can. Virtual high five. You are doing great. Now, if your family members or parents are in the room, one of the best things that we learn here at Mastery Parents is that kids grow way too quickly. And it's our job to capture the moments on film so we can cherish those times forever. So family members or parents, if you have your cell phone, I'd like you to record this. So this way, number one, your child can practice at home. Number two, you can have this forever. And in a few months from now, we can go back and revisit it and see the progress that they've come as of so far. Okay? Now, let's practice. Parents, you have those phones out? All right. Stand tall. Yes, sir. Back. Yes, I can. Okay, now put our hands over our head. Remember, yes, I can attitude and try your what? That's right, try your best. Yes, I can. Now say try my best, go. Try my best. Good, let's do it five times, ready? Yes, I can try my best and stand tall. Yes, sir. Great job. Parents, keep recording. Ready? Let's practice our punches now. Yes. I can try my best. Again, yes, I can try my best. That looks like your best. Ready, one more. Yes, I can try my best, sir. Great job. Now let's throw our kicks. Ready? Yes, I can try my best. Yes, I can try my best. Yes, I can try my best. Yes, I can. Try my best. And stand tall. Yes, sir. Bow. Yes, I can. Parents, thank you so much for recording that. Your children are going to love watching that later on. Boys and girls, give me a high five. Boom. You are doing great. Now stand tall. Now, I have this special belt that I want to award you. There's two challenges that I want to give you before your next class. Number one, always practicing the yes I can attitude. So from now on, when you're at home or wherever you are, no more no I can't or I can't do it. Mastery students, we say yes I can. And life will get hard. And when it gets hard, we always have to say yes I can. And number two, all of our mastery students are in the habit of when they wake up, we make their bed. I'm going to ask you to do that same thing. Every morning, I want you to set the day off right by making your bed. This will begin the habit of discipline. And later on in life, you'll form a new habit where you'll have self-discipline, where no one will have to tell you nor remind you to do this. So let's review two things. Number one, earning your white belt. 
How are you going to do it? By A, make sure that you're always practicing the yes, I can attitude. B, making your bed every single day over the, over the rest of these lessons. And if you can do that and your family members give us a thumbs up, we're going to mail you this white belt at the end of your third lesson. Now, before we leave, anything we do in life, in order to get better, we have to practice. Our beginner students in martial arts is our white belts. They do five reps of five repetitions of each. So if you're a beginner student and you're going to practice, we'll do five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And they would do that five times. Now, an intermediate student would do 10 reps 10 times. A black belt, they would do 20 reps 20 times. So you decide at what level you want to practice. But I, we do expect you to practice to get better at this. Can you do that for us? Excellent. So let's just really quickly. Number one, always practicing the yes, I can attitude. Number two, making your bed. And number three, practicing. You can choose from five times for five reps, 10 for 10, or 20 for 20. And I want you to practice everything that we worked on today, your blocks, your punches, and your kicks. But most importantly, the yes, I can attitude. And if you can do that over your next three lessons, we're going to award you with this white belt. Okay, stand tall. Yes, sir. Bow. Yes, I can. Congratulations for completing your first mastery lesson. I am sure your family is so proud of you. When we bow out, immediately, I want you to find your family members or parents and give them a big hug. Can you do that for me? Great. I'll see you for your next lesson. Sit. Bow. Yes, I can.